It's a hilarious sex farce, 1960s French sex farce. Uh, you've got a lot of running around. You've got guys, uh, one guy dating three women at the same time. Uh, being a uh, suave architect living in Paris, my plan, which is already underway at the beginning of the play, is uh, I have uh, three fiancés who are all air hostesses, and I have it all completely organized according to their flight timetables. So it basically works out two days with one, two days with another, uh, two days with a third, and I guess on the seventh day is when I do my architecting. I believe I'm his only fiancé, of course, and that he's just biding his time to marry me because he wants to be absolutely sure he can make me happy. Oh yeah, two days a day he's going to marry me. Uh, a friend from the country uh, comes and uh, visits a setup that I have and I explain it to him, I'm excited to tell him he should, uh, he should have a setup like this too, it's wonderful, it's better than marriage. Uh, and then um, throughout the course of the day we realize some of the hostesses have been uh, transferred onto Super Boeing jets which are faster. All the schedules have been screwed up and somehow they all end up in the apartment at the same time. <laughs> um, so there's, there's a lot of eyeball acting, there's a lot of like like that. There's a lot of like neck acting, <laughs> that kind of acting. So there's a there's there's lots of triple takes, and there's even, and we don't see this very often anymore. There's a spit take. It's it's like a fantasy. You, it's never like that in real life. You wish it was, because real life the timing isn't so good. <laughs> in real life, you don't have that that excellent timing where where things just happen magically. Like when one door opens and the other door closes and, the, and it just makes, it's the best entertainment really. A farce, you can't go wrong. A crowd that's going to like this play uh, at the dinner theater here is, is coming to, uh, to see uh, the show. But they're all coming you know, two hours before the show to have a, a great meal and a great bottle of wine and uh, you know, the new digs. We've done a big reno in the last couple of years. And um, it, it's just something that uh, it's all about the entire experience. I think it's a great play for everybody, really, <laughs> the whole family, because there's a great sort of innocence to all of this. Even though it's a bit of a bedroom farce and it's a door slammer and girls run around in towels and it seems like he's a cat, he's got three fiancés, there's a certain sort of innocence that we get, especially out of the early 60s, where it's just good fun.